So we now have this model in here and I'm gonna bring it into my view to have this being a detail view. How do I actually handle that? Now to do it, we wanna pass in a parameter from our URL. So inside of our urls.py, inside of the app, we are just basing off of our products URLs. Not any different there, nothing new. So I wanna actually make both of these templates be able to work. So to do this, I'm gonna pass in ID equals to none. ID equals to none means that the ID is no longer required. When you do it with just ID, that means that argument is required. Saying that it's none means that we have a default here. You could also set another default if you like, but basically that means that these two template or these two class-based views will actually render just fine. Now let's actually take a look at this and what I'm gonna do with my standard template is I'm gonna do courses slash detail or rather course detail to you know go along with the detail view generic view. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my folder for that templates, new folder in there, courses, new folder or a new file in there saying course detail.html and I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste something I've already done before and just use the title because that's the only field I actually have in my model. Okay, so I now have the class base view running twice, but two different template names. One is contact.html. The other one is, well, going off of the default of what I set right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and let's go ahead and run it out. Inside of courses, if I refresh in here, contact is still showing up. If I go to one or some sort of detail, I have an empty template. Now, why do I have an empty template? Is because I haven't passed any context into this template itself. So to pass that context in, we'll just do from dot models import course, and we'll go ahead and do get the shortcut get object or 404, and I'll just say object or rather obj get object or 404 course id equals to id okay and since i have a default being none i'll say if id is not none meaning if the that past argument is not none then i'll go ahead and say this is what the obj is and i'll also set my context up here so then i can just augment it here with object equaling to obj and there we go, or rather we wanna pass context here. So we save that, refresh in there, it says hello world, that is the name of my first object, which I could also add in just the ID to just double check that I'm doing everything correctly. Save that, and there we go. We've got our ID and hello world. That is roughly what a detail view does. It's not the same, but it's roughly what it does.